What's up, guys? This is my theory as to why everything in price action in relating to trading can be compared to a snowball. Uh, forming a snowman, things like that. I have a tendency to relate things back to the real world to uh, kind of explain my concepts and the way that I think about things. And it's not because I see you guys as stupid. It's because I know that I am stupid. So I kind of have to uh, think about these things in like a fifth graders terms to be able to even comprehend it myself. So this is honestly, truly how I see price action, right? Every snowman starts as a big snowball. Every snowball, right? every massive snowball starts as a little tiny snowball. Every little tiny snowball starts as a snowflake. This is the same thing in trading. So real quick, I'll you know relate it back to trading. All right. So this is how I kind of think about it in terms of time frames. I'm a trend trader. So the trend obviously has to start on low time frames and build its way up. And eventually, if you have a full fledged snowman, then each and every single trend right on every single time frame is all just collectively agreeing in one direction. You're either headed towards this top right corner or you're headed towards this uh, bottom right corner amongst all time frames. Right. So this starts on like trivial time frames one minute, five minute, 15 minute. Usually this is just noise. Uh, you know, you have that handful of people who can thrive in this sort of time frame and in those kind of market uh, conditions, but most people cannot. And I'm not one of those people, right? Then you have snowball and that's like a little bit bigger where these trivial time frames actually start to form something uh, noteworthy. 30 minute, one hour, two hour, you know, those obscure time frames. Then that snowball starts to roll its way down and get uh, even more prevalent, right? So uh, then you have four hours, six hour, 12 hour, those kind of time frames. And eventually that might lead into a full fledged snowman where uh, your one minute, five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, hourly, four hour, six hour, 12 hour, daily, three day, weekly are all just saying either up or down, right? And uh, this is true in bull markets, bear markets, price discovery towards either side, right? So uh, basically, you know, during this higher high, you have every single time frame uh, is bullish. So at this exact top, right? And eventually that snowman starts to break down and that works its way. And it starts in the form of weakness in a snowflake, and then it builds into a bigger snowball. And eventually you have, right? So somewhere down here, you have a snowball of weakness and then you form a lower high on your daily chart, which means now you're forming a bigger snowball. And eventually that lower high turns into a lower low on the daily. Now you have a full fledged snowman, right? And then that snowman doesn't go away really until here, right? And then you start to uh, shift into like a sideways environment. So this honestly is exactly how I think about price action. Uh, so if we apply that to the Bitcoin chart right now, it's not as clean as we would love it to be, right? It's not every single time frame is collectively agreeing on one thing, but we do have a way of kind of interpreting it in forms of like how, uh, you know, low time frame trends and then comparing it to higher time frame trends and then, you know, relating that back to snowball and snowmans and whatever that kiddish analogy. So on the daily, have we done anything significant? Not really. Right. I mean, this isn't significant at all whatsoever. We flip bearish here. Why? Because uh, ex expanding away from the range, right, breaking out of the range should have meant we're expanding away from the range. It, it really is that simple. We broke out of a 30 day, or not 30 day, 30%, three month long range. When you do break out of that range, you're not going to sit there and be the person, uh, you know, barking at the wind and saying, oh, this is going to be a top, this is going to be a top, this is a top, this is a top, this is a top. If you are that person, I can almost guarantee I'm willing to bet basically my entire net worth that you are probably saying that on the way up into this top, right? And same exact thing, um, you know, if you're sitting here trying to claim clout on, oh my God, I called the exact Pico bottom, whatever, I can almost guarantee that you are the same person calling Pico bottom, Pico bottom, Pico bottom, this is the bottom, have fun staying poor if you didn't buy the dip. And you just so happen to say that here. And then we finally, you know, do something significant. On the daily, we haven't done anything significant. There's nothing here to see, right? We, we're still deviating back inside this macro range that hasn't changed just yet. 
the mentality that made me flip bearish from 45k into these this mid range right is the same mentality that had me bearish at the exact pico bottom uh and only after that snowball right starts to build on those lower time frames that i even uh try or even attempt to want to fight against that argument right of we are simply downtrending from 45k into mid range potentially into range lows and there's no argument there's there's a snowflake of a bullish argument for pretty much all this price action i promise you anyone who's calling the bottom here i will bet money that they also tried to call the bottom maybe on this wick or maybe on this price action on the four hour 200s or maybe sometime during here they said oh we sweep the lows or maybe somewhere in this drop they said oh we're overextended you know the rsi is below 20 or whatever the fuck right <clears throat> and finally we we do something significant it's the first higher high on the four hour chart for this entire price action right it's the first higher high on the four hour since march 27th Think about that. You're finally do some, doing something different. This is a higher low into a lower high, but you finally created a higher high on the four hour chart here, literally two days ago, right? Probably significant. Let's break that down in, in lower time frame perspective. The thing that I was using was the 30 minute. Why? Because I'm not going to sit here and, and force my system down Bitcoin's throat and, and try and find something right? And have this like confirmation bias and, and uh, try and apply something that isn't applicable to Bitcoin. Instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Bitcoin, hey, what is it that you're fucking respecting as of recent, right? And then go with that. So in my opinion, the 30 minute 200 seem to be pretty solid. Obviously, this is more of a range. So I don't expect moving averages to get respected within sideways conditions. But when we finally break down below that lower time frame range, we fall back inside the high time frame range. What do we use as a trend? 30 minute 200s, right? And each and every single time we, we test them, they act as a local top, they act as resistance. So in my humble opinion, if you're calling bottom here, 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 you are a guard dog that barks at the wind, right? Imagine having a guard dog and they bark at the wind constantly, right? The wind is blowing, your guard dog is barking. Finally, a real threat shows up. Finally, a real threat shows up. And of course, your guard dog is going to bark, right? That's a given. Your guard dog barks at the wind anyways. But when a threat actually shows up, when someone tries to come rob your house, that guard dog is, of course, going to bark, but you're not going to listen. Your guard dog is barking constantly, right? 24 seven anyways. So what the fuck is the point? There's no point. So bottom callers here, right? Unless you were bearish on the way down into this bottom and just so happened, maybe you are alpha, right? And 99% of you, myself included, are not. I'm, I'm, I'll tell you that right now. If you're sitting here thinking, oh, I am that 1%, Literally everyone else watching this video is saying the exact same thing. So, I mean, good luck, right? But uh, if you are that person trying to call bottoms or whatever, then you are the guard dog barking at the wind. Only here did we finally do something different. Strength, right? We started to build that snowball. And now we need to form a snowman. We need to negate the idea of falling back inside this macro range, this high time frame deviation means mid range and then range lows. We already fulfilled half of that analysis, right? So, I mean, no matter what we win and I don't really give a shit what happens from here, you're starting to tap resistance levels, right? So you tap this four hour 200 EMA, but does this mean anything? No, I mean, it doesn't mean shit, right? You, you tap the resistance level and then you reject it off of it. So it's too early to be calling tops, even though your high time frame is still bearish, right? That, that snowball, that big snowball and that massive snowman have not been formed yet in terms of bullish arguments. So you're still bearish on those higher time frames. And even though you are still bearish on those higher time frames, 
is it uh, reasonable to start calling tops here? No. I mean, if you're looking for a take profit based off of the lower time frame trend, because you understand the higher time frame remains bearish at the moment, then that's very fair. But to call tops until we lose this exact same portrayal of strength, right? This indication of strength, we are doing something fucking different. We have put in a higher high on our four hour chart. We have reclaimed a trend that lasted for all of, uh, let's see, negative 16% for the course of uh, two weeks, right? You finally reclaim, reclaim that trend. And now just because you smacked your face on the four hour 200 EMA and pulled back 2%, now you're going to start calling tops, right? So now you are the speculator. Uh, it's too soon to say that the snowball of strength, right, that is still forming here, that initially formed here, has been crushed back into a snowflake. At this point, now you can say, okay, we have a snowflake of a bullish argument all over again, and you fall back into the same kind of context of a market as you did for all of this price action. And then guess what? Every single time frame from your one minute, five minute, 15 minute hourly, all the way up to your daily are all bearish again. So then that in hindsight was probably the macro top, right? That's exactly how I think about uh, price action. That's how I think about trend trading. And that's how I uh, kind of ignore people on Twitter. So hope you guys enjoyed this. That's it for me. Probably one of the longer videos that you'll find from me on YouTube. And yeah, that's about it. See you later.